The forum activity can be a very useful feature of an e-learning environment, but it's one that has many possible settings. So it's best for us to look at those settings to see how we might best use them. There are two forums created in your course by default. They are the news forum and the social forum. We're not going to concern ourselves with their use at the moment. We'll be creating a customized forum from scratch for use in building an e-learning course. The first thing we're going to do is move to the appropriate section where the forum will show up. And then once we're in that section, we'll turn editing on. And then you have to go down to the bottom. Actually, you don't need to go to the bottom. You can do it right from here. You can add an activity. The activity we're going to choose is a forum. Once you've chosen forum from the list, it's time to begin making choices. First, you have to give your forum a name, and we're going to call this one Forum Use in an AUM course. Alright, so next you get to choose the type of forum this will be. You are presented with five choices. But in reality, there are, there are only four with a difference in format. Standard form displayed in blog-like format is like standard form for general use, just a, it, the posts are displayed in a different way. Which of the four basic types you choose will depend on how you want the forum to function in your course. The Moodle version 2.3 documentation article I provided a link to just below this screencast contains a well-considered discussion of the uses of the forum activity and is really worth, worth reading. Because I want this forum to be a very focused discussion of one topic, I will choose Q&A forum. Next, write the introduction to this topic. It should contain the guidelines you wish students to adhere to in this forum and any special instructions about participation, grading, or use you may deem appropriate. Okay, so I'm going to write an introduction. This question and answer format forum will be a place for you to consider how you might use the forum activity as an adjunct to your course. You must post your own answer before you will be able to see any other student's answers. Now let's make sure it's question and answer form will be the place for you to consider how you use the form activity as an adjunct to your course. You must post your answer before you will be able to see other students' answers. Alright. Okay, so that's done. And if you want that description to show up, you actually have to choose the dis display description on the course page checkbox. After that, there are a few initial settings that you need to make. You need to choose a subscription mode, and we're going I'm going to choose the auto subscription mode. If a user subscribes to a forum, they'll receive an email alerting them to forum posts. You can make it optional force them to subscribe, which they can't undo, auto-subscribe them, which allows them to unsubscribe any time, at any time, or disable subscriptions entirely. I've chosen auto-subscription so that each 
building an e-learning course student will initially see what new posts are made in this forum. I have left the choice of whether or not you continue to subscribe to you. Read tracking determines the way the forum displays read, read and unread messages to participants. You can set a global choice of on or off or leave the choice to the students. I'm leaving the choice to you. You can set the maximum size of attachments to a post in the forum as well as the maximum number of attachments. I'm going to accept the default as I don't anticipate anyone needing to attach any files. If you were asking students to share files in the forum, consider how large, large those files are likely to be and set your limits accordingly. If you wish to limit the number of posts that a student will be allowed to make, you can do so in the post threshold for blocking section. You can establish a time period Say we say, you know, in five days, you can't make any more than 10 posts. And then you can also set the point at which you give them a warning that they're going to be blocked if they don't see them, if they don't uh, adhere to that. If you wish to allow the rating of posts, actually, I'm... I, I really have no desire to block people. You can, and this one won't function that way anyway, so I'll just put it back to don't block. If you wish to allow the rating of posts so that student participation is rewarded, you would do so in the ratings section. You can choose how ratings are aggregated as well as place restrictions on when ratings can take place. If you're using groups in your course, you can make that choice here. The effect of your choice is similar to other areas within Moodle. Once you've made your, your choices, then click Save and Return to Course. Ask yourself, where is it? Well, oh, I actually put it right up there, didn't it? But I don't want it there, so I'm going to move it to a different spot. <coughs> and I'm going to put it right here just ahead of that using forum article. All right. Thanks for your attention. I hope that the screencast and the associated Moodle documentation are helpful in your consideration of the use of forums in your courses.